Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about mammary duct tectasia. We will look at the pathology, clinical presentation, evaluation, and treatments. Regarding the pathology of mammary duct tectasia, it is distension of subbarrier ducts with fibrosis and inflammation. As you can see in this picture, the mammary ducts have been dilated and the milk is clogged inside the ducts which causes mammary duct tectasia. How these patients present clinically? They can present a nipple discharge. This nipple discharge may be multicolored and sticky. And also there may be a blue mass under the nipple in case of dark fluid is clogged inside the ducts. We call it blue based. The complications which can occur with mammary duct tectasia it may be due to penetration of the duct hole by lipid material which causes acute local pain and tenderness and also blocked ducts predisposed to infection so it causes mastitis and breast abscess. So those are the possible complications of duct tectasia. How we can evaluate these patients? We can do an ultrasound scan. In the ultrasound scan, there are dilated ducts in the subbarriolar region as you can see in this picture. Regarding the treatments, memory duct tectasia usually resolves spontaneously. However, sometimes there may be residual subbarriolar nodule. Sometimes surgical excision is indicated when persistent or recurrent symptoms are there or when there is associated persistent cyst. So that is about memory duct tectasia. We discussed about the pathology, clinical presentation, evaluation and treatments. So let's look at a question how this can be asked in your exam. This is a single best answer type question. It asks a 43 year old woman presented to the breast clinic with retraction and green color nipple discharge for 2 months duration. So this patient is having nipple retraction and green color nipple discharge for 2 months. Ultrasound breast scan shows cusp and subbarrier duct dilatation. This scan shows subbarrier duct dilatation. So this patient is having green color nipple discharge with subbarrier duct dilatation. So this picture fits with memory duct tectasia. In memory duct tectasia, there can be multicolored nipple discharge. So the answer for this question is duct tectasia. Like that, questions may be asked in your exam regarding this breast condition.